As we dive into our Growing Together series, and more specifically how time plays a role in our active growth, it is important to touch on the biblical practice of Sabbath. Exodus 28 through 10 states, Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. On it you shall not do any work, neither you, nor your son or daughter, nor your male or female servant, nor your animals, nor any foreigner residing in your towns. Sabbath is given to us as one of the Ten Commandments here in Exodus. It's funny though, I feel like sometimes it's easy to give up our Sabbath and disregard it as a commandment received from the Lord. In today's world, our society often rewards people by the number of things they carry on their plate. The more things you do, the more things you are a part of, the better you are perceived to be. We take this idea and overwhelm ourselves to the point of total exhaustion. The bottom line is this. Man was not made to go at full speed 24 seven. When we rest, we are more prepared to tackle the issues the world throws at us. When we don't Sabbath, we are actually dishonoring God's plan and design for our lives. This model is illustrated throughout scripture. God literally shows us what Sabbath looks like in Genesis on the seventh day of creation, the day when he rests and appreciates the work that he has accomplished. When's the last time you took a day to appreciate the work you had accomplished during your week? When's the last time you spent a day intentionally connecting with God through prayer in scripture? When's the last time you spent time connecting with the people around you through a meal or worship. Stopping in the midst of our busy lives is hard. Seemingly doing nothing is hard. But in the end, the reason we do it is to honor the gift that Sabbath is to us and because it is the best thing for our mind, our body, and soul. Now, during the biblical days, all of Jewish society basically shut down so everybody could honor the Sabbath together. Now, that isn't really realistic these days. There isn't a perfect day of the week that works for everybody in our communities. But my challenge to you this week is to do the work to incorporate Sabbath in your life. Spend some time in scripture and prayer. Find the things that give you rest. Find the people that will do it alongside with you. If we are to keep growing together as a community, we all need to start setting aside time for God and true rest.